Hi guys, Mark Wood here, Director of Instruction at Chichester Golf Club and also World's Best Golf Destinations and welcome to another video. And today I want to talk about shanking. And I want to talk to you about the main reasons as to why you shank in the long game. I'm going to do a, a couple of videos on this, but I've written a book on shanking. It's called Never Shank Again. If you go into the Amazon Kindle store and uh, put in Never Shank Again by Mark Wood, you'll see my book there. And in that book, I've gone through the five main reasons as to why you shank it in long game, plus there's a couple of other reasons which I cover in the book. Also, the five main reasons as to why you shank your pitch shots and the fixes, the five main reasons as to why you shank your bunker shots and the fixes, and the same with the chip, and the five main reasons and the fixes. But let's talk about reason number one as to why you're shanking. We all know the shank comes out the, the heel of the club, right out the socket of the club, and it shoots off at right angles. Now I've sprayed some dry shampoo on my, on my club face and what that does, it leaves a nice white film um, on, the, on the face. So you're going to start to sort of really start to see where you're striking the ball from the club. Now let's cover reason number one. Now reason number one as to why you shank is quite a simple thing. Sometimes you're just set up too close to the golf ball where your hands are all cramped into your legs and you've got no room. So as you swing down, the club is just simply moving further away from you and boom, you get that ball right in the socket of the club and off it goes at right angles. So what I want you to practice, when you're at the range, I would like you to practice standing further away from the golf ball and I want you to practice trying to hit the ball out the toe of the club. So I'm gonna purposely try and hit this one out the toe of the club. So that fell really out the toe of the club. So if I show you that, that was really out the toe of the club. But if we're trying to get rid of the shank, that's what I want you to feel because trust me, all you people that shank it, you know the feeling, even moving that ball right across the toe, you'd be so much happier than that. And that would feel such a joy to you because if you're consistently hitting out the hosel and shanking it off to the right, it feels horrible. So a great little drill, like I say, get yourself standing further away from the golf ball. And a, a simple drill that you can do is if I was stood too close into the golf ball and I take my right hand off and let it hang naturally in front of me and down, I go back onto the grip. You see how the hand's too far down the handle? Now if I'm the correct distance from the ball, that hand should go straight back onto the grip where it came off. So that's what I'd like you to practice. I would like you to literally practice that drill. You're further away from it and practice hitting it out of the toe of the club and that's going to really start to help you get rid of your shanks for good. Hope you enjoyed this little video tip. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to post your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's completely free. And I really appreciate your support. Many thanks for watching.